Well, you don't have to if you okay. don't want. But I'm saying, if you explain it to me, what is it? It's called obsession. Yeah, I, am... I want the sound. Uh huh. It's called obsession, and I right. am exhibiting all of the chalk that I've collected for about eight years, and the text tells you about obsession, my personal yes. experiences with it, and. Are you obsessed with chocolate? I was at some point, yeah, totally. And and did you have a weight problem as a result? Because they're chocoholics that they get very fat. Are you calling me fat? Huh? No, I said there are because I've discovered Wilshire Farms calorie fee, zero calorie chocolate syrup. You uh -huh. can pour big globs of it in your coffee. I doubt and it, it makes it like has hot No, it has real cocoa in it. In it. Uh -huh. Believe me, try it. Wilshire Farms, zero calorie. Zero calorie ball of chocolate back in my life. Okay. And I, I love chocolate too, but I never allow myself to like grease peanut butter cups. Mm -hmm. If they're there, I'm gonna eat them. That's not really chocolate. That's like hydrogenated oil. Well, anyway, I know there are all kinds of chocolates, but yeah. I, I, I used to weigh 220 pounds with a 42 inch waist. Uh -huh. I'm 165 and I have a 34 inch waist. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep it that way. Okay. So I ended up avoiding chocolate, certain things are not in all of my life. Okay. No offense to you and your obsession. Sure. But did you meet any people? Because there were people that had weight problems. They call themselves chocoholics hmm. because they overate. And like I've heard people give testimonials at Weight Watchers and all, mm -hmm. saying, "Oh, you know, my big problem is I'm a chocoholic." Yeah. And so there are people that can't resist. I met one girl once at a party. She told me she was in the white rice. I didn't know you could get fat. She was as big as a house. Yeah. She said that she just would eat big bowls of white rice. So any food that you're crazy over, you have a chance to. That's why they say moderation. Right. Well, the same thing like with alcohol. There are people that yeah. sip a very fine wine, mm -hmm. but you know, it doesn't mean they guzzle it every night and become alcoholics. But uh -huh. some people do. I saw on the other side, they're all labels of different chocolates that There's you. There's on this side too. I see. But this when you have this over. Yeah. Okay. So you got a good response. Did you find many people that recognize some of the brands or Yeah. How many countries you ever count how many countries or No. Because you know, supposedly the Germans are the best and the Argentinians copied the Germans. Personal perspective, I would think. Oh really? So where do you think the best chocolate is from? I say that's kinda of like asking somebody their favorite kid. Oh really? Yeah. Because there was a place on Christopher Street that was there for years. There used to be a line to the end of the block because I know my aunt loved the bittersweet chocolate. Yeah. And it was very expensive, but they had- I think had, it's a very personal uh, perspective. But you don't know the one I'm talking about? They, no. they only went out of business a couple years ago and they had an incredible following. Nope. Okay, well, thank you very much. Yep. You know, and- uh, Is this going try somewhere? Will, try, try, well, can I put it up on YouTube? Um, oh, come on, now, there's something that's been said. Sure. Okay, thank you. What's